Asked in almost all the good organization, this problem lead code number 11, container with the most water is like a must have problem on two pointers. Let's see how. We have n vertical lines and using those vertical lines along with the x-axis, we have to find the container with the maximum water in it. So this vertical line and this is going to form a container with maximum water it can hold. So this is something we have to find out. And the value of n is going to 10 to the power 5. So if I use two pointers, i and j nestedly for every single value of i, I will just explore every single value of j. So for loop within that another for loop. Nested for loops are not going to work because the constraints are high. So definitely we'd have to think of an approach like two pointers. And two pointer means running two pointers simultaneously, not nestedly. If let's say I'm considering the same container like this. So here this is for i pointer and this is for j pointer and j pointer is having lesser height. So only moving the j pointer on the left side can benefit us. And the reason is if we are moving i to the left right side, I am only going to consider height which is at the value at a j and this width is definitely going to be reduced by one. So moving i is not going to benefit us. So this is how the two pointer technique is used to find the Continue with the most water. And this will be the code here. Left pointer to first index, right to the last index, and area variable to store the maximum area. While left is less than r, find the current area and compare this area with the maximum one. And based on the value of height, we'll decide the direction. If height of left is less than, then move the left pointer, otherwise move the right pointer. So this is the way we can achieve this solution in order of n time using two pointers. Thanks for watching. Bye.